Good evening. Welcome to the class of 2013 White Coat Ceremony of New York College of Osteopathic Medicine of New York Institute of Technology. The White Coat Ceremony marks the transition that medical students make when they complete their classroom education and begin their clinical training. It is a significant milestone which recognizes the next phase of medical education continuum that requires physicians in training to apply acquired knowledge and skills to patients in varying clinical settings. This rite of passage is an acknowledgement of your achievement thus far and serves as a symbol of your ongoing commitment to the profession you aspire to enter and to the patients you are entrusted to serve. NICOM committed alumni who carry on the tradition of mentorship in this time-honored and noble profession will coat our students tonight. The white coat is a delivered gift of support, commitment, Today. and faith. I am delighted to be with you on this special occasion, a rite of passage you share with medical students around the country. NICOM provides a first-rate educational foundation as part of a continuum of learning, and we are proud to see you join thousands of alumni as capable and compassionate members of the osteopathic medical profession. Good evening. It's a pleasure to be here to with you in this touchstone moment in your personal and professional lives or in the personal and professional lives of our accomplished third-year medical students, 162 women, 126 men. Uh, Esteemed students, over there, I guess, yeah. Um, as you know very well, uh, tonight you start uh, your, your, final, uh, your final clinical phase of your education or your clinical phase of your education. You wear for the first time, at least officially, uh, the mantle of your future profession as an osteopathic physician. Uh, that's a group of professionals that is predicted to surpass 100,000 by the year 2020. Thank you, Dr. Giuliano. At this time, I would like to induce, introduce, not induce, I don't think anybody I can, <laughs> is there anybody I can induce? <clears throat> it's always clinical. Introduce the members of the platform party. Dr. Barbara Ross Lee, Vice President for Health Sciences and Medical Affairs. <laughs> Members of the NICOM Dean's Council. <laughs> Members of the NYIT President's Council. In addition, I would like to acknowledge the members of the NICOM faculty and staff. And finally, I would like to recognize NICOM alumni who are serving as coders this evening. And now please welcome Dr. Barbara Ross Lee, who will present this year's Distinguished Alumnus Award. It's my great honor to introduce our keynote speaker and NICOM's 2011 Distinguished Alumnus Award recipient, Dr. Robert J. Corona, NICOM class of 1986. I can't even remember back that far. <laughs> Dr. Robert Corona, Chief Medical Officer and Vice President of Medical and Scientific Affairs for Welch Allen Incorporated, is board certified in neuropathology, anatomic pathology, and medical management. In addition to his role at medical device manufacturer Welch Allen, he is a practicing neuropathologist at Upstate Medical University in Syracuse, New York. Dr. Corona is also a professor of pathology and laboratory medicine, emergency medicine, internal medicine, and family medicine at the State University of New York, Upstate Medical University, and holds faculty appointments at Albany Medical College and Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, Dr. Cronin, would you please join me? Thank you. 
Scandellis. Dean Scandellis. I now request that you present Dr. Robert J. Corona with the NICOM Distinguished Alumnus White Coat. Never take it off. <laughs> this one's nicer than mine. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, wow. You're going to learn. You're going to learn a ton from your patients, and you're going to have lots of opportunities if you keep learning. So you're entering a very different world than I entered in the 1980s. It's going to be more important what the cost of energy is. It's going to be more important whether water's available. It's going to be incredibly important who's twittering what. Facebook is probably going to be old. You guys are going to come up with something new. You know, doctors are already consulting on Facebook. There's going to be a whole different set of problems, and you cannot solve those new set of problems with old thinking. So thank you all. Good luck to all of you, and I hope you have a great new chapter in your life's journey. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Corona. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now commence with the coding ceremony for the class of 2013. That's it. In case anyone had doubted that we're the second largest medical school in the country, the evidence just walked across the, uh, the stage. At this time, we'll begin the induction ceremony for Psi Sigma Alpha Honor Society. Psi Sigma Alpha was established in 1924 at the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine as a local scholastic honor fraternity and was later chartered as a national osteopathic honor society. 
The principal objective of this society is to establish and promote better scholastic standing in our colleges with the expectations that its members will better the osteopathic profession, NICOM, and themselves. Qualifications for membership include high scholarship. Students must be ranked in the top 15% of their class at the end of the second year of study, excellent character and personality, and good moral integrity. We can vouch for the top 15% academically. <laughs> Will you promise to uphold your scholastic standing to maintain your good moral character when away from this institution, to promote this organization in osteopathic medicine and speak of them with respect and pride, to perfect yourself in osteopathic medicine and surgery so that your colleagues may call on you and receive sound advice and counsel. If you accept these charges, please respond by saying, I will. Please be seated. I told you they were honor students. We are banded together tonight as honest, honorable men and women of good moral standing and who shall abide by the rules and orders laid down in the Constitution and the bylaws of Psi Sigma Alpha. If the candidates would please raise your right hand and repeat the oath after me. I will hold steadfast all proceedings of the society to make osteopathic medicine a better science than it is today, to do all within my power for its advancement, to encourage, to encourage higher scholastic standing in the osteopathic colleges, to maintain a high moral standing in the osteopathic society, to comfort, console, and guide my fellow colleagues, to hold my chosen profession with high integrity. All this I do solemnly swear to do to the best of my ability. Congratulations, you're now all active members of Psi Sigma Alpha. Thank you, Dr. Hallis. We now continue with the white coat ceremony. Will all the students please rise as the oath of commitment is administered? Please read the oath located in the back of the program after me. As I proceed down the long path of learning, entering another phase of osteopathic education at the New York College of Osteopathic Medicine, I commit to lifelong learning. Through compassion and empathy for others, and with respect for my teachers and my colleagues, my learning experiences will be enhanced. I commit to the osteopathic profession. Through development of my skills in human interaction, understanding and respecting other people, valuing cultural differences and diversity, I commit to the delivery of quality health care. Because I value the knowledge and achievements of those physicians who precede me in the profession, I will uphold osteopathic principles and traditions. I commit to the philosophy of osteopathic medicine. to recognize my weaknesses and my strengths, to strive to enhance those qualities that will earn the confidence of my teachers, to continue my support and commitment to the osteopathic profession, I do pledge.
Congratulations, class of 2013. Your future is limitless, and we know that you will continue to be successful at every level of your training and into clinical practice. We are very proud of you. Thank you.